So that was the first set of experiments done by our teacher in space. And what is the physical principle behind this instrument? It is the Newton second law of motion. The force imposed on an object equals to the multiplication of its mass and acceleration. If we can measure the force and the acceleration, we can know the mass. So we have a screen cam structure. It can, ha it can ex exert a constant force, namely the force that pulling the commander into the initial position. And we also have a grading speed measurement system to measure the acceleration. And according to the law, we can learn, we can measure the weight. Isn't it amazing? And now I have another question for you. In space, except for such a contraction to measure weight, are there any other methods? Now you can see my operation, and I can give you some hint. And this is a spring I just showed you. I pull the two springs into the same position, and then let it go. So the vibrance, vibration frequency is different for two objects. This is the same as we, if we do this experiment on the Earth. So, according to this phenomenon, can we come up with some other method to measure the mass? And you can think about that. Now let's do another experiment. This is a strand, and the rope can tie this little ball to the strand, which is a single pendulum, as we commonly see on the Earth. So now the question is, if you set up a pendulum aboard an orbiting space vehicle, would the period be less than the same mass or greater than it would be in our lab on the ground? It does not swing as it did on the Earth. So let's move it higher to here. It doesn't swing either. Why? Because in space, the, it is a weightless environment. There is no force, so it cannot swing as it does on the Earth. And if we push the little ball, what will happen? You see, it's amazing. It's now orbiting. It moves in circular motion. Now, this is indeed direction. quite amazing. Uh, let's let's turn our attention to, I mean, let's turn to our studio guest, Mr. Wei. How would you explain this phenomenon? I think the, this uh, demonstration of the previous system uh, all, all demonstrate an important uh, concept, its mass and the force. So what we measure the mass of a material is a constant, but the force is not. It depends on the acceleration. So on ground, we have a constant uh, acceleration, about 9.8 meter per square of seconds. So that's why we take this default number and uh, merge the uh, mass.
It's because we know this one is a constant, but in space, we don't have this constant anymore. We need to do calculate this one. That's why we use acceleration to generate this. So this is based on the uh, Newton's second law of motion, exactly, uh, the ground, explaining yes. the relationship.